afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching, whatever time you are watching this from, uh, I welcome you into my YouTube channel. Uh, welcome into today's episode. This is me, Jamie Naftali, on the pediatric world. So this channel is all about kids' welfare, medical problems, we want to find solutions. So here we are creating awareness on the common illnesses affecting children while growing up. So stay tuned. And if you're that returning subscriber, please hit on the subscribe button. Subscribe so that you may be part of this wonderful family. So into today's episode, we are continuing on uh, treatment of malnutrition in children. Remember, we started on malnutrition and we said uh, the uh, approach, how we treat it is by following 10 steps. We have to follow these steps. There's no shortcut. We have to follow 10 steps when we are treating this malnutrition in children. And we did the first three. The first three, if you haven't watched, please go into my previous uh, episode so that you may find the first three steps in man, uh, treatment of malnutrition. So we are starting on the fourth step. What do we treat as number four? Uh, we treat something we call electrolyte imbalance. What do we mean by this? These are salts that are usually found in the body. We have things like potassium, sodium, uh, chloride. So these salts in children with a severe acute malnutrition, you find that they are not normal. Uh, we have uh, imbalances. And this one, just to explain it, we lose, they lose salts while they have diarrhea and vomiting. Remember we said children with severe acute malnutrition have episodes of diarrhea. They have many episodes, uh, many diarrhea episodes and also uh, vomiting. So when they diarrhea too much, when they vomit, they lose these body salts. These are the potassium, the ones we are saying, and the calcium and the rest. So they, lo they lose these salts through diarrhea and vomiting. In return, we get dehydration and after dehydration, now we get these electrolyte imbalances. So you may find that especially, especially the potassium is the one that is mostly lost. So you may find that you want to add a little more into their feeds. You want to add uh, more of potassium to so that we correct, we correct the imbalance. So we want to give a uh, so. We want to give uh, potassium, sorry, we want to give extra potassium because we are saying it is the salt that is mostly affected. We find us giving four minimals uh, per kg per day of uh, potassium. This is what we add and this is what we mean electrolyte imbalance. We need to correct the imbalances. Hope this one is very clear. So that is step number number four, that is electrolyte imbalance. Um. Uh, just before I move from there, uh, there's a name be note that frusemide, never use frusemide. Frusemide is a drug also known as Lasix. It is mostly commonly used uh, when uh, peop, uh, when children have edema. So in this case, don't use it because, because of edema, because you may have cardiac, the heart issues. So please be very careful. Avoid use of frusemide. Hope this is clear. So now let's go to step five of uh, treatment of malnutrition. So we want, uh, these children are prone into having various uh, infections. So then we need to treat uh, infections. So we have to give antibiotics because again, the, explan the, well, the explanatory to these uh, points, to every point when we are treating uh, malnutrition is that these children's immunity is very low. It is compromised. We don't have strong immunity. So they are going to get most uh, infections anytime. So you need to put these children on antibiotics. So remember we admitted this all these we are doing in hospitals when we have admitted these babies. So we want to give, to start on IV antibiotics, the ones that we give through the IV, the intravenous, we want to use the IV antibiotics. So all children with severe acute malnutrition uh, should get IV antibiotics. 
And this we have explained why, because of their low immunity, so they are prone to getting infections. So which are the best antibiotics to use? We use a combination of two antibiotics. We have, we have to use IV penicillins, and to be specific, we use Xpen, and it is the same one called the benzyl penicillin. So we want to combine benzyl penicillin or Xpen with IV gentamicin. Why are we combining the two antibiotics? For the IV penicillin, this one will cater for the gram-positive microorganisms, while the gentamicin is going to treat the those bacteria that are gram negative i hope you 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 now get why we have uh, to combine these two antibiotics so we give as per kg remember in all cases in children when we are treating any disease we have to calculate per kg it's not like adults so if we give uh the iv expand and the gentamicin iv for five days this one will be very, very okay. But for the IV uh, penicillin, if these children can take orally, within 48 hours we change into giving oral amoxicillin. So if they are able to take orally after within 48 hours, this is around two days of starting the IV antibiotics, no, you change into uh, oral amoxicillin. You don't continue with IV uh, penicillin, the IV expand. So hope this is clear. So that is the use of antibiotics, uh, the use of IV antibiotics in treating children with severe acute malnutrition. We have something extra here when you are treating uh, the infections. We also add something we call nystatin, the same one called the clotrimazole. And this is for something we call oral thrush. This is not new to people, the nystatin. What is oral thrush? What are we calling now? What are we saying that we are treating the oral thrush? The oral thrush is the, the white thing. Uh, when you, you check the mouth, the tongue of these babies, it is usually very white all around. And even the, uh, the palate, it's very, very uh, white. So this white thing is what we are calling oral thrush. Or we call it oral candidiasis. This is what you want to treat. We want to treat, and also it's a symptom of low immunity. Mostly it's because of low immunity. That's why they form the white thing inside their mouth. So we are going to give nystatin drops. They are usually drops, uh, and that is if present, we treat with nystatin. So this is what we are adding on top of antibiotics, something that we are adding on top of giving the IV antibiotics. So then, what else do we add? We add something we call the ABZ, the albedazole. You are very familiar with this one. This one for treating worms, the dewormer. And this we give in uh, when treating severe acute malnutrition after seven days of treatment. So you don't give before you have treated for, with IV antibiotics for seven days. So remember giving ABZ, the albedazole. Something extra we give is something we call TEO, the tetracycline eye ointment. So this one we give for any eye discharges. We, we have our eye our discharging, our eyes discharging pass or white discharges. We want to treat using the TEO, the, or, the, the tetracycline eye ointment, and also the ulcerations in the eyes. We want to be very keen so that we don't get eye signs. Eye signs, we say, are signs of uh, signs of vitamin A deficiency. So we want to prevent this because we say vitamin A deficiency will even worsen the mal malnutrition. So vitamin A deficiency will worsen the malnutrition, and it is through the eye signs. So we want to give the TEO, the tetracycline eye ointment if we find the, the eyes discharging pass or the white discharges. So these are the three things that we add, the TEO, the ABZ, and the nystatin, and we have said each uh, is, uh, what we are treating, that is on top of giving uh, IV antibiotics. So, so far, we've gone up to step five. Step five is what we have uh, covered two steps today. Uh, the electrolyte imbalances and also the use of IV antibiotics. Hope this is clear. So we still have five more steps to go and we're going to reach here for today, people. I want people to understand 
Keep asking those questions. Uh, comment uh, in the comment section. Anything, any questions about malnutrition. Remember, malnutrition uh, is all over and it's a killer disease in under five. So please, please take it serious. If you have questions, please ask. You can also go into my email. It is provided at the end of every video. So please ask. Thank you for those asking questions. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit on that red button. Subscribe so that you may be part of this wonderful family. Also remember to put on your notifications uh, so that you may be the first person to know every time I post a new video here. Thank you, my people. Till next time. Bye.